Hey guys, Mixed Media Girl here. So a few days ago I did a video with a hair dryer basically creating this beautiful blown out flower. Now full disclosure, I did do a little bit more work on it after the video. I added this little darker yellow in here because there was kind of too much yellow and I did blow a little bit of some other parts out. So here it is completely dry. I wanted to just try this one more time to see if I could get a little bit better of the look that I wanted. Like I'm not gonna put this blue in here and I have some other ideas. So we're gonna just basically try this again. And if you missed that video, please check down in the description. I will post it, I'll post the link there. But we're starting off with white over here in this corner. I'm gonna do basically the same thing, just some other colors and just do it a little bit differently. And I'm using all mixed media girl pouring paints. There's always a question about that. And this is a 14 by 14 inch canvas. So I'm thinking about doing a whole series of these in different colors. So this would be the second one, I guess. <laughs> but I wanna try some that are like very different colors, blues, purples, things like that. So I'm gonna go ahead, add just a little more white and then I'm gonna spread the white itself around real quick. All right, now I'm gonna go ahead and get in here with my colors. I am going to, once again, do yellow in this corner, but I'm gonna just do a little bit less. And then I'm also going to use Golden Sun, which is basically a golden yellow. Okay. And then here's another thing I'm gonna differ. I'm gonna go ahead and add in some Merlot, which this is just a really deep red. I think it'll look pretty perfect here. And then I'm gonna add in a little bit of Cardinal, which is a, also a deep red, not as deep as the Merlot. The Merlot's got a little bit more purple in it too. I'm gonna leave the actual purple out this time. Here we're gonna do Razzle Dazzle. Lots of Razzle Dazzle. And then the hot pink again, the electric pink. Okay, good. Now last time I used Razzle Dazzle to kind of um, add some darkness in between. I'm gonna actually do that with the Cardinal this time. So I'm just gonna take it and just add in a little bit extra here. Just so we don't have any solid lines of color. All right, now I'm gonna go in here with the hair dryer. Now one thing is I'm using it on high air with no heat. So I'm gonna turn the volume down here and here we go. Okay, I definitely like the flow of it better. I'm not as happy with my shape and the fact that I have much less um, negative space. I used more paint this time and I think I may have gotten a little out of control. I am going to take a straw and blow this yellow out just a little bit more. Uh, just make it a little more wispy here. Okay, I like that. You'll probably also notice if you really compare the two videos, this time I started here with the hair dryer and I really just went out. In the other video, I actually blew out the pink first and then went back and blew out the yellow. So I do actually like the look of this one better. I just wish I had a little bit less paint so we could have more negative space or a larger canvas. This over here though, and this will make some beautiful runoff, so don't worry about wasting paint, guys. I have a silicone mat here from Lowly Vefe. I forgot to include the link in the description of the last video, but I'll make sure it is definitely, definitely in this one. You just let the paint dry on there, and you can peel it right off like this and use it in other projects. 
Now, if you have little scraps here, you're probably not gonna really use that, but like this, I can totally use. It'll be amazing. So I'm gonna bring you guys in for a close-up. All right, starting over here with the yellow. I definitely think it looks better without having kind of that big chunk of yellow. Plus that golden sun gives some really fun reactions. You can see those deeper reds in here coming up to the lighter. And the pinks in there, gorgeous, gorgeous. So I do definitely think that this is beautiful. Really wish I had a larger canvas to do this on. So I might grab a 20 by 20 or even larger canvas and try this again with the same colors because I think this is just a pretty perfect color combination. All right, guys, let me know what you think. I really hope you enjoyed this. If you missed that last video, go ahead and check it out in the description. And I will see you all next time.